Welcome everyone. In this session, we are going to learn how to identify variables and elements which can be accessed using Python. And then we are going to use those elements and variable to do some plotting. So this is a typical nine bus case, which is uh, provided as an example in Power Factory. So what we have done is we have simply opened this case and the basic load flow case is activated and with this case uh, it has already been uh, built by the uh, power factory itself as an example with this case we see two plots one plot is related to the voltage which is going to show the per unit voltage of all the buses and then we have another plot related to uh, this uh, generator active power and reactive power so what we are going to do is First of all, we will try to identify which elements we require and within these element, which kind of variables we will be needing, right? So we have already used two type of variables in our previous session. Those were related to the line. The element was ELM term, which was used for the bus voltages and ELM L and E, which was used for uh, uh, identifying or uh, writing or uh, taking out the loading of different transmission lines so if you want to see like uh, uh, this uh, elm term belongs to bus so in the same way if we want to see this generator exactly which element does a generator belong to so what you can simply do is you go to the equipment you are interested in simply double click on this once you double click on the equipment you see this it says g2 dot elm sim so from here we can identify that for a generator or a symmetrical or a synchronous machine what we are going to have is for a synchronous machine we are going to have dot elm sym in the same way if we want to see what is for a transmission line which we already used so you see dot elm lne so in this way you can identify the elements you need to access so once you have identified the element, now the next thing is after performing the load flow, which kind of variable attributes I can uh, uh, use for plotting or reporting and things like this. So how these can be done, you simply let's first of all, let's solve this case. Uh, once I solve this case, I calculate the load flow. Yeah. So once the load flow is solved, you will see that this generator a plot has been created. The voltage plot has been created and in the same way within each edge element you are going to see some attributes uh, written in it these variables written in it so if you if we want to see uh, the variables which we can use for instance we used c dot loading in the same way what different kind of attributes i can use as an output so you can get it like this so you can right click go on the edge element and see uh, here uh, two elements have been selected m dot p local bus and mq so just simply right click or double click on this so this variable manager uh, or variable selection window is open now within this selection window you need to identify for instance we uh, i want to see for the transmission line right for the transmission line where first of all wherever you see underscore local bus this means this attribute or this variable is related to the bus itself so you are not going to get the value once you use line so if you want line element the line elements which are available here either are the calculation parameters or the element parameters so if i go into element parameter so these are all the param uh, element related parameters which you can access in the same way we have some calculation parameters so these are the kind of outputs related to transmission line which you can get so out of this the one of the most important for me is the percentage loading in the same way we can get the maximum loading of the transmission line as well and uh, we can use this maximum loading of the transmission line and uh, this in order to uh, get whatever i want so in the same way i mean <clears throat> uh, you can get this so let's try the same thing for the generator because I am now interested in plotting the voltages and 
plotting the active and reactive power of the generator so let me go to this edge element of the generator right click edit same way i go here and from here i'll try to see the calculation parameters so these are the kind of parameters which are available for me uh, to be used as an output uh, with respect to the generator so if i see here i have this p and the q value and exactly which attribute i need to put uh, in my uh, python code you can get it from here like this if i click on this you see c full colon p so if you want to get the total active power out of a particular generator or a number of parallel generators connected to a certain bus you can use c dot c colon p in the same way if you want q you can use q so in the same way uh point out or uh, figure out what kind of parameters you need to uh, put in your uh, output figure them out note them down and then we are going to use them in our simulation let's build on the previous code so from the previous code which we have copied from the jupyter notebook uh, what we are basically doing is we are creating the environment and then importing power factory uh, and then calling the application calling the required project uh, calling the uh, desired study case and that's it so we copied all the same things except one this is since we want to import uh, we want to plot so that's why we have used matplotlib as well code starts from here what we are basically doing is we are using the same code which we used previously for calling the uh, generator and please uh, consider this uh, this part so here elm.term and elm.elm says this we already told you in the demonstration of the graphical user interface uh, how you can uh, check out these element similarly the elements used here and here these are related to the calculated values here we are using the calculate uh, we are measuring uh, using the measurement value of uh, the per, uh, per unit voltages of the bus so what we are basically doing is we call the object uh, from the element uh, elm term and then iterating through this element we are basically getting two information we are retrieving two information the first information is the bus name and then the other information is the per unit voltage and then we are storing them in a empty list one is for the uh, bus label or the bus names and the other one is for the per unit voltages in the same way we are using three uh, empty list for the generators one is the generator name or the generator label one for the megawatt value one for the megawatt value similar way we call the relevant object related to the generation uh by calling all the static dot elm sim which is basically the element for uh, synchronous machine then iterating through each element we are retrieving the name the active power and the reactive power and then storing all these three values in the variable once we are done with this we are simply using uh two plots the first plot is plt dot figure one so it will create first plot with a bar plot of the uh, bus labels and the per unit voltage in the same way the second figure will contain two sub plots which will be in the form of two rows so this shows the row and one column so this means two plots one top of the other so the first plot the location of the first plot should contain the bar plot with generator megawatt values and the lower plot should con uh, contain it this way we can uh, plot the values this script as session 2 so let's try to run this script which we have already created so first of all we are going to go to the location where our script is saved and then we are going to the we will go to the relevant directory so for that purpose os.chdir and let's move to the directory and then let's run the session so this time we have to run session 2 let's press enter
so where we receive an error let's try to figure out what is the problem so here it says i cannot find this generation so why is that let's see here so what is basically happening is that here i am using the name generation and here generation so basically because of this e it not see the same one that's why it is giving this error so once we figure out this error let's try to rerun this so there you go we have two plots the first plot is related to the uh, generator active and the reactive power in the same way the first plot is related to the voltage 